So, so we, we just released the Oregon Ducks iPad application, and this app actually, um, we're, we tried to combine all of our media presence on here, so instead of just coming in getting the news, the first screen that you get combines our videos, um, our, our news, any new photo galleries we've published, and our most recent Twitter feeds as well, so it's just kind of a, a one-stop shop for anything that's happened in uh, Oregon Athletics. Then uh, the other really cool thing we have is all of our video archives right here. And so um, we, we do a lot of post-game interviews, uh, pre-game interviews. So th this is all from volleyball. Uh, we can go and we can see which Coach Kelly uh, had to say after practice. And, uh, you know, of course, you can tilt sideways and go full screen. Um, and it, it's a really great application. Then go to our schedules page and you can actually watch live events live on the iPad and uh, so this is an extra benefit for our Ozone members uh, where you can see the live events and then on demand we also create condensed games so you watch every play of the football game but it only takes 45 minutes because all the time in between plays has been cut out for mm -hmm. you. Um, we have the scores of all of our recent events, I can go in and I can actually see the stats from the basketball game and, you know, by team, by player, um, and we get the whole play-by-play -play of the game. It, it's pretty amazing. Does this um, populate off the Ducks website? This all pulls off of GoDucks.com, yeah. so and anything that we've pushed up there comes here as well. Um, of course, this is a form factor made for the iPad, so it's you know a higher quality and everything, just designed for this screen. Um, a, a, another feature I really like is our rosters. So let's say I'll go in and hit our football roster. Um, you're, you're at home, you're watching the game, you don't know who a player is. Well, um, you come up here, you're going to get to see their headshot, and as soon as it loads, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you all about <laughs> Technology it. Technology never but, works when you want it to, right? <laughs> uh, there we go. There you go. So, oh, wow. so you go through and you say, okay, well, who is Kiko Alonso? I'll click on him, and it'll pull up his bio, and I can just kind of scroll and read all about him. Um, pretty easy on right in here. So, again, this is for all of our sports. Um, and then we also have the photo galleries, which are pretty cool. So... Um, after a lot of events, uh, we'll build a photo gallery so I can go in and actually you know, scroll through and see all the, the great photos from the game. Um, so, so we think this is a pretty impressive offering in the college space. Uh, we're not the first, but one of the first to have a true iPad app. And again, the great thing about the iPad app that we haven't been able to do before is give the mobile live video streaming. We have live audio streaming on our Android and iPhone apps, but uh, the, the iPad app actually finally gets that live video streaming out to our fans. So wow. We think folks will be really excited about it, and uh, it, it literally got put in the store this Thursday, and... We're still testing, fixing out a few things, so we have yet to do our first live broadcast, but uh, probably Saturday we'll have our first live broadcast on here. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, and well, and, and it'll be the volleyball game, not the football game, because ABC owns all the rights. That's the worst part about a lot of what we do when, according to the Pac-12 contracts, anytime big TV buys up a game, and that's across any sport, well, they have all live rights to that. So ESPN, ABC, and Fox all own the live rights, so we can't stream it. But um, for any sport other than football, not all of our games are televised, or they're on just Comcast Sportsnet Northwest, and we're allowed to stream that. So we're going to show over 30 basketball games live online, both through the iPad and through our Ozone service. Um, uh, almost all of our you know, softball games, baseball games, I mean, all kinds of stuff we put online. So um, it, it's pretty fun. It allows fans all over the world to, to actually keep up with the Ducks. Do you post mm -hmm. games on their um, post game? Yes, yeah, so, so we archive all the games, so you can actually watch the games on demand. Um, for the, the, big, the big four, I'll call them, um, for football, men's and women's basketball, and baseball, we also build a condensed game. So again, it's that shortened version of the game where you pretty much watch the whole game, but just time in between cut out. And we also build highlight packages for those games. So um, it's pretty cool stuff we just started doing a year, year and a half ago. Um, so yeah, hey, we're, we're, we're pushing it. Have so. you uh, integrated much with um, 
uh, coaches and in terms of training and video replays uh, for analysis purposes? Well, the teams all have their own video systems and uh, the... <laughs> What football and the basketball programs have, uh, and, and even softball, baseball, for video analysis is mind-blowing. I mean, they, they literally have people there every play during the live event deciding, well, that, that's a sweep to the left or a run to the right, a run up the middle, pass down the middle, and long pass, short pass. I mean, they categorize everything. And then the coaches get back and they say, hey, I want to see all, all running plays to the right side of the field. And boom, they're all brought up. I mean, it, it, it's the, the, the stuff that they do video-wise is phenomenal. I mean, Coach Westhead comes in, hey, I want to see any three-pointer, uh, you know, on, on the left side of the court. Boom, they're all there. Mm -hmm. so, so they can literally watch every type of play. Um, and, it, yeah, that stuff that they do is phenomenal on their end. But uh, so what we do is more for the fans, not for the team. So that was a good question. So was it, uh, that kind of technology, how recent was that, that phenomenon that they can pull up all that game information? It's a good question. Um, the, that video space has been really improving dramatically over the years. I, I, I guess... I've only been in the collegiate space now for four years, so I, I don't truly know what was here before I got here. Um, the football programs have always had, because of the money involved with football programs and the NFL and everything, that space was pretty well um, populated, I think, with quality product offerings and is only getting better. It's the, uh, the, the other sports where programs are getting better and better. Our softball and baseball teams have four cameras around the field, one behind uh, home plate, one on each dugout, and one out in the outfield. And so you can literally take a swing from that batter and show that batter, you know, review it with them, say, from four different angles, here's exactly what you did. So here, here are your hips coming through, here are your hands, here are your, and, and it's phenomenal the stuff that they can do with these new programs. So it's, no it's not to improve. <laughs> right, right. It really helps out. So, or at least to know what the problem is, right? right. That you need right. to improve oh, on. Yeah, right, and, and uh, often, even though you think you know what the coach is talking about, when you see it on the screen, it's night and day difference. So, um, I, I think the teams have really enjoyed that, and those were just installed maybe two years ago. Um, so that, that's new for us here at Oregon. So. And I have to ask because. I'm always curious. I never know who to ask this question to. Um, the the digital, um, not signage, but the numbers that show up, like the yardage mm -hmm. in football, mm -hmm. that comes up under the player's feet, oh. is that based off of a sensor underneath the field, or how does that actually No. Um, so there are, the, 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 there's a team, and, and it's actually from our media services department, that is up in the press box, and they sit down and uh, almost replay everything. They have a little TiVo running there, and so they'll rewind every single play and try to get everything accurate through the whole game. So they're running all the live stats up there and trying to record all the stats. And that and that's how we also build out all the stats that you get um, at the end of every game. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, they really try to get all the calls right, no matter what the call was up in the booth, you know, when they announce on the field, seven yard run, well, maybe it went down as a six or an eight yard run, um, it, but it's that group that is that working throughout the game. And then technically, how, like, how does it actually show up? The, so you know so I mean? the overlay on the football yeah. uh, broadcast, well, so that's not something we do, that's something the TV trucks do, yeah. and uh, th that technology... Uh, typically takes a whole second truck to do a lot of this really cool stuff that all, all the, the on-field graphics and it, it's all computer algorithms and they figure out you know when to uh, play that's a player not the grass so therefore they have to be running on top of that yellow line or all that stuff so um, outside of Watson uh, the day or two days before well probably two days before every game you'll see a, a, a big uh, trailer show up there and there's one super long semi truck and then you'll see another one show up the next day. And, and so those are actually the video trucks that plug into our system. And uh, we have another truck that also runs Duck Vision, our, our big video board out there. So we can do a lot of the cool graphics on that as well. So um, the horsepower it takes to do all that stuff is mind-blowing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then 
their truck is plugged into our live stat system, so they can pull all the so all the stats we produce. You know, they're they don't have to reproduce the stats themselves as well, so they pull that feed in. Um, so the video board can, from our stats feed, pull the live stats in as well, and that's how you get to see you know yards per carry and all that stuff right up on the video board, um, as opposed to. In the past, you used to have to have a graphics person just there, mm -hmm. type, you know, banging out, hey, oh, what graphic do you want in a few minutes? Okay, I'm going to bang that out. Well, now um, you can actually, it's all integrated uh, th through a database. And so, for example, baseball games, our, our stats change with every at bat on the board because you know, every time through that order, it's updated um, through the system. So, uh, and it, that's, that's new for us with baseball. Of course, we didn't have a baseball facility before that, but. Um, now with the video board at Matthew Knight Arena, same sort of thing. All the stats are live, pulled off this one feed. So one person's there making sure it's all right, and then it's distributed out to whomever's actually going to put it up.